is that lineup from the inside. Pakistan in one, China in two, Bahrain in three, Japan four, India five, Qatar in six, Iraq in seven, and Sri Lanka in lane eight. Qatar, without a doubt, the favourites here. They have an individual champion on leadoff. They have another anchor, and they have finalists in between. It will be interesting to see here how Samba commits himself. It is the longest leg, it's the toughest leg, and I guess if you've got a world-class 400 meter hurdler, you might as well stick him here on the three bend stagger leg. And Samba floating across the track. Doesn't have the longest stride for such a tall man, but you do get a sense he's in front of the moment. Musa Issa of Bahrain. He's had a decent run so far, and also you can see there Julian Walsh, and Julian Walsh fifth in the individual 400, but I get a sense here, it's Samba, Bacata very strong up the home straight, and Samba, he hands on the baton to Mohamed Abbas. Abbas will break at the top of the back straight, and at the moment, Rob, it's certainly so far so good for Kata, but there is some strength behind him. Yes, there is. The Japanese quartet, it's Koiki on second leg for them. And remember how well he ran to outdip his Chinese Taipei rival, 200 meters to that title. But Bahrain now coming back into the mix, coming up onto the shoulder of the Sri Lankans. It worked for the Indian women, and at the moment, it's working for the Qatari men. They are out in front courtesy of Samba at the halfway stage. And what makes it a little bit difficult for the second, third, fourth and fifth athletes is that there was a bit of choreography there to get into the right position. So, Kata, well away, this time through Mohamed Mohamed. He's got about 15 metres, it's the 400 metre hurdler now. Abe, chasing down the back straight. India moving so strongly, it really will be a crowning glory to their week if they can pick up at least a silver medal here and there is just a sense that Mohammed is being caught but bear in mind they do have the individual champion in the 400 on the last leg so Kata have not only 10 meters in hand but they have a champion with his arm stretched out there waiting for the baton and he's got it India moving into second place it's Japan third Sri Lanka in fourth place it's been a disappointing run so far from Bahrain they've got Abbas Abbas who finished sixth in the individual 400 back in fifth place and storming away here is the individual champion almost appears to be overstriding doesn't he but he's so strong he is being caught just a little bit by the Indian Japan bearing down but now he'll dig in and he'll stretch out and he'll move clear and as anticipated, it's going to be gold for Kata. Very close for silver. Japan closing in on India, but India, hang on. They get the silver. Japan take the bronze despite the best efforts of Shota Izuka. He couldn't quite get after the anchor leg runner there for India. The template was put in place by Samba. He's such an exciting prospect. Hassan bringing them home with real power and finesse but from a starting point that Samba put them in they had a wonderful opportunity all credit to the Indians coming home 30185 the Japanese were closing with Izuka 30056 AR stands for area record Asia record and as you'd expect, it's also a games record. India the silver, it's been a fine game for them. Japan coming through in third. Silver medal representing India. So the silver medal went to India. And they chase the Qataris home hard. They've had a great games on the track, haven't they? Three minutes, 1.85 seconds. Fantastic third leg from Yaya. Did so well in the individual 400. 